If you struggle with dull, dry skin, then you probably have found that using certain types of makeup actually make your skin look worse. So I want to show you in this tutorial the products I used here on Krista to get a radiant glow to the skin using all healthy, natural, eco-friendly, organic products from Navigo.com. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Navigo.com, it's an incredible online community-focused destination featuring a mix of really unique, independent beauty brands whose mission is about sustainability, making the world a better place, and using healthy, safer ingredients in their products. Okay, so now we're gonna rewind to the place where we started, where Krista had no makeup on whatsoever, and show you everything step by step. Now the first thing I'm going to do is prep your skin with the Velvet Organics Day Facial Oil and this is specifically for dry skin. You only need three to six drops and it's got organic hemp seed oil which is known for its anti-inflammatory properties. Now while the skin is still damp, you just smooth this on all over and let it really soak in and it doesn't dry greasy feeling which makes it a wonderful primer for makeup. Okay, Krista, so this is looking really good. And I just wanted to tell you that when you put it on yourself at home, make sure you get the oil directly on your fingertips and that way anything that's left, you can just massage it straight into your cuticles. The Anoka Ayurvedic Lip Butter has seed oils that are deeply hydrating and will penetrate the lips. And what you're gonna notice is that there's a little bit of peppermint in there that adds just a nice freshness and it's perfect for all dosha types if you know your dosha in Ayurveda. It feels really good, I like that. Yeah, it's very cooling, refreshing. Yeah. All right, now feel how your skin is. It's better, right? It feels really soft yeah. and less tight. There you go. So now let's move on to doing some foundation. One of the tricks for dry skin is to use your same facial serum with your foundation and make a little mixture that's extra hydrating, particularly in the dry months of the year. The Meyer Naturals Aloe Based Foundation has skin calming chamomile in it. It also has soothing, organic, natural, cruelty-free, vegan, GMO-free, and gluten-free ingredients. So what you're gonna do is take a little bit of this, drop in one to two drops of the Velvet Organics Dry Face Oil, and apply directly to the face. The nice thing about liquid foundation is that it adds such a nice radiance to your face, unlike powder, which just exacerbates dry skin, you know, because it kind of starts to look cakey. And so this is just a nice way to get really beautiful radiance and glow, but still get the coverage you're looking for. Now that we have a base of foundation on, we're gonna use the Meyer Naturals Hydrating Concealer. Have you ever heard of a hydrating concealer? No, I haven't. Yeah, I mean, it's not a common thing, but I'm so glad that they make it because people with dry skin really do need ingredients that are much more nourishing and calming. So any of those little red areas, this is gonna give you a bit more coverage without adding to the dry look of skin. Yeah, and I know when you're a mom, you need things to be quick. Like you don't wanna spend a huge amount of time because you don't have a huge amount of time. So when you have products like this that are concentrated and work well, you know, they make your skin look better. It's just gonna be that much easier for you to get your face on and bust out the door. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this looks so much better. Take a look. Oh yeah. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Yeah, I mean, your skin has life and radiance to it and yeah. it's very even. Yeah. The thing with dry skin is you don't wanna put too much powder on, so a cream cheek color like this one from Naked Truth Beauty is gonna be really fantastic. And the shade is called Wednesdays, but you don't have to just use it on Wednesdays. You can use it every day. <laughs> and what I especially love about this product is that it is handcrafted in the US, all natural, organic, non-GMO, it's cruelty free, and look at this amazing cardboard packaging. So you know it's really very sustainable. Here's a little tip for applying your blush. You want to hit the apples of the cheek, but don't get too far into the nose or you're gonna end up kind of looking ruddy on the skin, particularly if you have a lighter skin tone like you do with that Irish look about you. It can start to look like you just had a little too much to drink. I love the radiance that we already have going on the skin, but we're gonna bump it up a notch with this Brazer Beauty Moon Dust Glow Stick. It smells amazing. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like kind of being on a beach. Oh, totally. I was not expecting that. 
So this is a multi-purpose stick with avocado oil and shea butter. And you can really use this on the tops of your cheek or anywhere that you want a little bit of extra glow, like the top of Cupid's bow. All right, now I'm gonna let you see what this glow does in this mirror over here. Beautiful, right? Yeah, that's nice. Another really great trick if you've got dry skin and you're looking to add some radiance is to use a glow stick on your eyelid and that way you get some light reflection and it's a very easy way to add interest to the eye. I'm just gonna take my pinky and tap a little bit on right into the tear duct, which helps open and brighten the eye too. The last item I'm gonna show you is a lipstick that really adds a wonderful amount of moisturization to the lips. Now we already primed it with the Ayurvedic lip balm from before, but when you want a little color, you don't want it to look cakey and dry on the mouth either. And this one from Meyer Naturals has avocado oil, castor oil, coconut oil, and jojoba oil. All my favorite oils. <laughs> and who knew you could have favorite oils? And I want you to pay special attention to the color. This is Radiant Rose. Um, and this is gonna add sort of that freshness and that pop to the lip. When you feel like you're looking a little bit dull and dry, you definitely want to avoid lip colors that are going to blend your mouth out, make them monochromatic and dark or brownish or even mauve is something to stay away from. So this is gonna help add that illusion of freshness. Okay. Yeah, this color is gorgeous on you. I mean, you just have like the really nice red hair and creamy skin. Um, but this is a color that would really work on just about anybody. Obviously it's gonna look different. Okay, now just do a little light press. Mm-hmm. How does that feel? Like I don't even have anything on. Oh, and it looks it, amazing. It feels like lip balm. It doesn't yeah. feel like lipstick. That's yeah. That's wonderful. And look yeah. at how much color you're getting out I like of that. It. So beautiful. And that actually makes my skin look brighter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. I just finished off her face with a little bit of mascara, filled in the eyebrows, and I love the way this turned out. Take a look. It's beautiful, isn't yeah. it? It's the really good. Skin great. is just glowing. Yeah. Everything looks fresh and more alive, which is just what you want. A little bit of color in the right places. So you can find all these products and so much more that are good for your body and soul naturally on Navigo.com.